This is Georgia Foam Flies. Today we're going to be tying an elk hair caddis. Okay, what I'm using is some nymph size 14. Okay, I've got some dubbing. I've got some elk hair, some white elk hair. I've got some brown hackle. And I've got some gold uh, wire. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie in the hook from the eye all the way to the all the way to the gap okay then the next time I'm doing is I'm going to take a nice little piece of copper wire I'm going to straighten it out and I'm going to take it into about, I'm going to go one third back from the eye, right about here, and I want to just wrap it on top. Nice even wrap. Nice and tight. And drop it right down there. Okay, I'm gonna come back a third. And what I'm gonna do is get some dubbing. So I've cut up a little bit of crystal flash in here to add to dubbing to give it a little more pizzazz. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to take this thread, take it right back again. Okay, I'm going to go right a little bit farther back just so I can see the round thread and then take it off a little bit. I want to get this, let this unwind, get uh, nice and flat. And while it's doing that, I'm going to take a little bit of this dubbing, not a lot. I'll take it out here. I'm just going to kind of pull it out, stretch it out a little bit. See about how much I'll need, which isn't a ton of it. So what I'm actually doing is I'm kind of thickening it up in the middle, thinning it on the sides and kind of just patting it down. Let me get easier to work with. The thread's nice and flat. Take it up with my finger, let's put this back down. Okay, I'm gonna come out a little bit. It's gonna take a dubbing needle, kind of grab it right in the middle of the thread. I'm gonna split it, put my finger in there. I'm gonna take that nice dubbing and I'm gonna feed it right in try and kind of center it. Pushing it up here. Then I'm gonna let it go like that. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna keep, don't, now you have to make sure you keep your tension on here. Okay, and I'm going to spin it. Now I always spin counter, or I always spin clockwise, so I never accidentally uns, unspin it. Once I see it start to turn, I'm going to pick up a little bit and we're going to get some nice tight dubbing on this. We'll have more control of dubbing to form the body. I mean, you can, you can lick it and do that right there, but just, you really don't, don't poof this thing up. Just a nice, easy body. And 
Yeah, it's starting to get where I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna take it here now. I hold it there to keep it from unspinning. A little bit of spin on the end. Okay, so we wanna form the body with the dubbing. So nice and thin, and as you get closer to the middle, thicken it up a little bit, make the wraps tighter. And then as you get more toward the end, pull it back and I'm gonna let it unwind. And while it's unwinding, I'm gonna take a nice piece of brown hackle. This guy's pretty cut up, so I don't wanna use him. I'm just looking for a decent one. Doesn't have to be that, it doesn't have to be that long, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, But I do want a nice clean feather to work with. And this one looks a little better right here. So I'm going to take off the thick. And that should be doing it right there so I can pull off the... There we go. Stick that to my other dubbing, wherever it went. That's how you take it off if you, if you end up using too much. So what I want to do a little bit is just tying a little bit of the head right there. Not a lot, it's a couple wraps. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie in my feather, which is right here. Uh, I want the arch to be going back. So I'm gonna tie it in right on this, I'm gonna tie it in toward an angle on the side, grab it right there. The hackle starts. Gonna trim that off. Okay, I'm gonna take my pliers. Crimp that. Now what I want are some nice even wraps with a little bit of a gap on each wrap. So I'm just going nice and easy. Watch it in there so it's nice and easy. Get a couple more wraps in there as it comes untied. Okay, we're almost to the end. Careful of the hook. And once we're at the end, we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna take this wire, and what I like to do is I'm gonna give it two wraps right on the back. It's gonna hold that feather in place while I wrap it. So two nice wraps. You see it's got the feather, just perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the, the wire and I wanna go in between or right next to each of the spines that I just wrapped. I'm gonna try and stay nice and even. Okay, and when I get to the front, 
do two quick ones. Let's switch it over here. And I'm gonna wrap it in. This time I'll do three or four good wraps to wrap that piece of metal in there. It's tight, pull it a little tight. And I'm gonna use the, of course, never use your tips, your scissors. Get right down there, push it in. This is gonna be right where the Right where the head goes on the top. So we've got this wrapped. I'm okay with it. I'll tease it up a little bit. I have to maybe trim these hairs a little bit, but so far it's not too bad. I'm gonna trim the back. Let's feather off. Okay, now the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna get this, pinch this head in. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing the dubbing off the eye. Because this is the last we're gonna see of this part. Once we put the, once we put the, this back feather on. So let's get this back and tease it up again. Okay, so now we're gonna do some stacked elk hair. So grab a small amount, uh, maybe twice of the hook. Clean it out, so you're grabbing it, clean it. Might be a little too much. like this. We drop this on the stacker. Some good wraps on here. Okay, so for this wing, we're gonna wanna arch it over and we don't want it to go past the bend in the hook. Grab it, clean it off the excess. Make sure I got the good fair amount. That looks pretty good. Okay, right about there. So I want to grab it back and lay this in my finger and hold it nice and tight off the head. Now, before I go too tight, I want to make sure it's centered on the hook. So I'm going to look straight down on there and look on the side. Now it's pretty good. So while we have it right there, before we do any trimming, I recommend you just trim it off. Just grab it like about there, just so you can whip it in. Don't worry about trimming that part right now. Nice wraps right over the top of that collar. Pull it nice and tight. Spin it around right here. Okay, so I'm going to take some bead cement, head cement. Giving it a fair amount. So I want to hold that head in place. Okay, so now for trimming the head, which is the last of it. Okay. Make sure any loose hairs are pulled out. Now for trimming the head, you kind of want to go, you're going to go off the eye a little bit, but you're going to catch it so it's nice and straight. And what it is, it's almost like you're 
Think of it like a small popper. This is a little. Make sure it's nice and even. And we still want to be able to make sure we can thread that hook. And we're off the eye. Perfect. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is gonna tease this up a little bit. Tease it down. Make sure I don't have any loose hairs in here. As I like to say, I'm gonna get her ready for her modeling shoot. Caddis, you could tie them a little bigger if you like. I mean, these things will make a nice uh, hopper imitation, whatever. But right here, I just got this on pretty small size 14, and that'll do it. Here, stick them up, take them off of here. Okay, so I want to thank you for joining. And that's your Elk Caracatus. Have a good day. It's Georgia Funnel Flies. Hope to see you on the next video.